hello and welcome back to another video on diablo 4 so today we're going to go over my top five issues that i have with diablo 4 currently and this is something that's been growing you know several weeks since the game has come out and these some of these issues persisted before the game even actually launched in beta so my first and foremost issue with the game is i like to explore builds i love building uh, and just testing things and stuff like that. So my first and foremost biggest issue is you can't refund your all of your Paragon with one click. We need a one click refund, okay? And, and or we need to be able to refund every point on a single board, okay? So there needs to be something to implement that. That needs to be done. Uh, maybe they don't have the code that removes each glyph. Maybe, maybe if they, if they don't wanna, you know, maybe, make something where you have to remove each glyph uh you know manually and then you can respec all your points at once or something if they don't want to code that in it doesn't matter they need to add that that's literally one of my biggest issues with the game is no one click respecs uh and like where like where's this button for the paragon right so it takes a long time to fully respect uh that's my biggest number one issue with the game secondly second issue when you press enter, where are the chat channels? Am I just supposed to have everybody that I ever want to play with in my clan? Uh, LFG channel, it, like where's the trade channel? Where is the power level channel? Where where are the channels in the game? Where's the group finder within the game? Is this the same company that made World of Warcraft like way back in the 2000s? like before most of you were probably even born like w what is going on like w lack lack of channels is a huge issue so that's second okay third removal of content the constant nerfs every day there seems to be a nerf uh removal of elites change of spawn rates etc something uh nerf of loot table whatever uh change with world boss loot uh upping that to 90 instead of 80 changing content like that removing content especially the removal of the elites that's a big yikes why not just change the values of the xp they yield and or like if you want to slow down progression within the game and uh give yourself more time to come out with act five why don't you just uh nerf the xp values nerf the drop uh, rate values so ex so example would be item 795 item power or higher would have a very low chance to drop whereas like a 750 or lower item would drop consistently so maybe just change the values of drop rates and xp rates instead of removing actual content from the game the game literally just came out and you're literally removing content that's a yikes to me uh put back the content like put back the mob density i don't understand that uh yeah don't remove content, change values. People don't see values usually. Casual players don't know the values of most things. Casual players aren't sitting there timing their runs in every all 115 dungeons and writing down their XP before and after and uh, doing YouTube videos about it. So change values, don't nerf in-game content. Like that doesn't make sense. Just nerf the values of stuff, okay? Like that's number three. Uh, number four this one might not be as big of an issue for uh, some of you guys it's not an issue at all for me but i hear this constantly this is number four issue that i hear about is how much the skins cost these things are outrageously priced uh and we paid at least minimum like 70 dollars, 60 dollars, or whatever for the game minimum and then on top of that you if you want like a skin you have to spend an outrageous amount to get that skin that is to me kind of insane uh and then not to mention they're gonna have the battle pass like some of these skins look really really cool but uh on top the retail value for the game plus this that's kind of insane to me uh it's not a free-to-play game so these should be much much cheaper and or be able to be earned in game somehow maybe through pvp or uh, some extensive insane grind like i'm talking like a million kill a million demons for like the wraith lord right or like kill five million for the wraith lord right like each piece is like kill one million wraiths and then you get the helmet or the ch you get the pick one right 
something like that like the the the, the value like 2800 dude i don't i don't even want to know what that is usd that's like that's too much that's like half a week's of food like way too much so that's going to be number four biggest issue with diablo 4 currently all right let's move on to number five now we kind of talked about this with the density and number three but uh removal of the dungeon reset button there was a reset button in the betas and they completely removed it so now you can't just simply reset a dungeon uh by clicking on it etc so that is a big yikes to me uh it was a terrible idea and it forces a uh, a lot of us to just reload a lot and and or just like leave your current party rejoin the uh to the new party leader when he reloads into the new dungeon it's just a really big hassle they should have just let us uh constantly reset a dungeon uh and you know leaving and joining parties is kind of annoying because you have to open your friends list etc it's just a lot of hassle it was a really terrible idea we need a faster and easier way to reset dungeons without having to leave the game and or leave party also running to every nightmare dungeon is so dog water like i, don't, I think once you beat a nightmare dungeon uh like it should just let you teleport there from like Kovashad or, or one of the main cities maybe Kovashad since that's where you change world tiers maybe have a separate portal that spawns there uh, when you open a nightmare dungeon that you've completed and it allows you just to port to that dungeon that would be a lot better uh, and then like I said the reset that's really stupid and then and then and then if you do choose to take the portal to the dungeon right like if you you know like the if you have the portal here next to the main statue uh if you do choose to take it it'll cost like i don't know let's say like five or ten or fifty thousand gold right some some amount of gold like it wouldn't be free because it you know saves time etc so i mean that would be really cool if they could add that so that's number five the removal of dungeon uh reset that that was really bad idea okay and then th that that's pretty much going to cover it and then uh the i didn't even mention the storage space like lack of storage space like we, we have four storage uh, slots for all of our characters really bad and then the constant nerfs they're constantly nerfing stuff the lack of density and mobs like uh i don't like lack of density is really really bad this is diablo i'm gonna i want to slay everything i want hordes of demons to be attacking me at all times uh the okay, here's another one i didn't uh, like this should have been its own issue on its own but lack of chaining the mobs like the the inability to be able to chain mobs in dungeons uh like say you run through a dungeon and mobs aggro to you uh but if you keep running through the dungeon at a certain point those mobs will reset and go back to where they were they should chain to you no matter where you are i think that should be a thing chaining should definitely be a thing you should be able to pull the mobs uh and then Another minor issue, uh, like I remember this from D2 with Enigma teleporting through walls and just speed running and doing farms. Uh, why can't we teleport through a wall on Sork if the door is shut uh, on, on in the, you know what I mean? Like if there's a wall here and there's a door and nobody opened that door, you can't teleport on the other side of the wall. That's kind of dumb. Uh, I remember doing that in D2. So why can't we do it in this? Uh, and there's so many other issues that I've just, you know, didn't mention in this video. I didn't want to make it too long. I just wanted to top, talk about the top five current issues with Diablo 4. And those those are it. And can we get these addressed? Can, can we get this video to blow up? Can you guys share it? Uh, make sure you hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Post it in Discord. Share it to streamers. I don't care. Share it with all your friends. Let's get this out there. Let's get Blizzard aware of these issues. And hopefully they'll resolve them and or address them and just tell us you know this is what we intended so you guys have a good one i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching later